Yeah. Not just a TO. No, definitely not. He's actually pretty good at Smash. And this is the pool that I was in formerly before it was changed. So I was gearing up to fight Solomar so slash Claw 2. Let me, let me back up there. Solomar is now Claw 2? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Pretty uh, dicey on the name change only because, you know, if people sort of knew you or you had some sort of recognition prior, I mean, it is the time to rebrand with a new game, but got to be careful about it. It makes seeding difficult, I'll tell you that much. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think I had a, hilariously enough, Booty King from MDVA. <laughs> He uh, messaged me in a. Uh, he was in dire straits because I think he I he I think he thought I had something to do with the seating for Genesis, and he was trying to get the message across that his name is, I believe Jay or Jason now. Oh. Okay. Instead of Booty King, which is a hilarious name for a young kid from MDVA to be <laughs> uh, touting in bracket. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Booty King. So it was Boot, and then he is an elephant king, but. <laughs> Kid's a champ, he commentates in MDVA, you'll see him around, but now sitting in Cloud 2, I mean, PS2, again, a welcome starter. Lucina Olimar, Olimar a terror now, by the way. Yeah, you see him tacking on nearly 60 damage from across the screen. This character has always been a threat from long range, but now that up smash with such low ending lag, basically going back to the brawl days of how that move was, it's super hard to punish. Super hard to respond to, and you can get a lot of combos off of it as well. Now well past the threshold for that because of all the Pikmin tosses he got, but <clears throat> we'll see how City's able to respond to that. I like the sweet spot down air into a follow-up. Lucina gets so much off of this, and these two characters really, both of them benefiting immensely from the ultimate engine changes and also some specific changes to the character in terms of Olimar. Yeah, he is tacking on damage. He hasn't gotten a stock yet, but this stage pressure right now is looking mighty nice for Plateau. Oh, and so close. City barely just whiffing that back air over his head. Gonna get responded to with a forward smash. Ooh, Nair F smash would have gone through, but City just not believing in his combo. Yeah, right now, resetting him to neutral a little bit. The back air does take it on his neutral getup. Uh, Platu has a little bit of work to do, but for Olimar, that damage comes pretty free. 34. Oh, this spot touch down smash. 46. Yep, and oh, we're almost back to even City, not swinging after the down throw. Good choice, good choice. Could have seen him take a little bit more damage there, but either way, Platu still hanging on to a bit of a lead here. Just playing a mixture of close range runaway and just swinging the up smash when he reads a jump or sometimes trying to meet Lucina air to air with his own aerials. Yeah. And Asorti is part of Olimar's problems, but we're seeing Klaatu mix his damage up really well with utility from his Pikmin. A blue Pikmin right there, and then a purple Pikmin sending Kla uh, sending City so far. And oh, a the dunk. To seal that second stop. This is still anybody's game, though. City has been keeping it super close. He's just not coming out on top of the stock exchanges. And that's, of course, like you said earlier, Swar, this is a game of stocks. The percent is merely a facade, merely an indicator of how close you are to losing that stock. But anything can happen in this game. It could be at zero. It could be at 150 or higher. We've even seen uh, some SDs at zero. But Klaatu has some fans in the crowd. Uh, of course, this is the time to root for your boys, for your girls in bracket. This is something that he took cleanly with two stocks and we got some popping off now on stream we got some cheering up does he have that buff we got that buff from the support of course the local hero as well hailing from norcal claude has been uh, placing pretty well from what i understand in ultimate of course sticking with this character i'm Why not would sure if he played brawl i think he did but now for three games potentially yeah Ooh, smashville non-moving platform pretty unsightly but the world we live in yeah, definitely not my favorite stage. It doesn't seem to be a well-received stage by many players. Of course, the regular Smashville with now what is Hazards on was the go-to. But now you see PS2 I, in its stead. While I don't necessarily prefer this stage, I do like that this moving platform is now stationary because prior, edge guarding sometime would just be made irrelevant because yeah. I'm out here and I can land on this platform. So... But it also gave the edge guarder the ability to stand there and yeah. you know drop through dare or something to spike yeah. you. So yeah, a lot of variance has been removed from the stage, which I'd say is overall good for competition. A direct nerf to Sheik. Right, yeah, and Ness. Oh my gosh, those are the 
Oh my gosh, those are days. But anyways, again, the damage being tacked on by actually both players. The disjoints from Lucina working totally in her favor. And a put I, I don't want to say it was an accident. I want to give City the credit, but parrying last hits of multi-hits now is the name of the game. Yeah, it's really good. And multi-parrying, if you happen to get the parry early, just having the presence of mind to shield and let go repeatedly. I need to see a multi-hit parry on like a Mewtwo Nair in top 8 tomorrow. Because right? that yeah. is going to send the whole crowd into a frenzy. However, right now, Klaatu took that first stock very cleanly. He has a nice lineup of Pikmin, red, yellow, and purple in that order. We do have that yellow Pikmin tacking up a little bit of damage, but City gets it off him with a fair. Now coming back to stage with a red and a purple. Not looking too bad, especially now that it tacks onto 30 damage just like that. Jesus. And City had a chance to go for a shield breaker right there, but uh, being that he's historically main Game & Watch in Smash and now is making the switch over, can't fault him for not having the presence of mind to go for that. This is, of course, his first huge tournament with this character. Yeah, I mean, being... Uh, so sure of yourself to make those decisions, especially in these new moments that you might not be familiar with. You know, it takes it takes that experience and presence of mind. Yeah, it's not going to happen overnight. Yeah, but you know, letting him get back for somewhat free, I think City's like hesitating a little bit too much because, again, he isn't using the disjoints to the best of his ability. But also, there is some fear to be had against an Olimar with two purpose now. Yeah, and peeling a stock off of this character can get very difficult if he doesn't want to go near you. Oh! Firing and back normally a sitting duck. Olimar offstage. He went for the offensive, and City paid the price. Yeah, throwing Pikmin, throwing purple Pikmin at an opponent attempting to edge guard you. Great way to get yourself out of a terrible spot. And when we see the up air, despite the whistle attempt there from Klaatu, just going to go right through. Yeah, whistle giving a little bit of invulnerability, so the landing can be a little bit softer. Came out just at the wrong timing, and City took that stock. It is one to two, however. Now the damage being tacked on just a moment ago at 20 or so percent. Now at 80 or so percent. Fatu is primed now to take this. Now at 100 or so percent. This is so uncanny. That outer hit, man. That was brutal on the down air from Olimar. Unfortunately, not the spike he was looking for to kill. Two purples online and a white. Yep, just going to clean Couldn't that. Couldn't have it any other way. Klaatu just sealed it, and his boys are cheering for him. 